Hello, my name is Sausage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of the Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. This should be part 30, if I'm not mistaken. So we have just got the last of the six orbs, so we are trying to take them over to the Ig Yggdrasil, the giant floating tree. And we have yet to really explore this city. And I might actually wait a little bit. So I would like to hit this cutscene and then I think some quests will open up. What are you doing loitering by the docks, Eric? None of your business. So, did you get the orb or what? We did. And all because I can spot a phony a mile off. You can thank me later. Mm. Huh? What's wrong, Rab? Oh, it's nothing, lassie. I just can't stop wondering who the handsome young fellow that put Crystalinda up to all this might be. He'd have to be very important indeed to have the same pendant as the mighty Sir Hendrik. You don't think it could have been Mordigan himself, do you? I wish I knew, Serena. Really, I do. Well, standing around here guessing won't do us any good. We've a tree of life to be getting to. Come on, you horrible lot. This adventure isn't over yet. Onward to Yggdrasil! Oh! Crevens! Uh, <laughs> how, how, how did that get there? Ooh, is this what you were so engrossed in back at the library, Rab? I thought you said it was a spell book. Another one to add to the collection, eh? And there I was thinking you'd finally got over your little obsession. <gasps> Sir Rab, you have been caught red-handed and red-faced. And after you'd just done your rousing speech, too. Talk about mortifying. Ah. Oh. <sighs> but, 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 but wait! You, you don't understand. I only read them for the articles. <sighs> the articles, I tell ye! Dirty old man. All right. So let's see. So now we have a couple of quests here. Actually, let's check the quest catalog. So we've got Sniffleheim, Sniffleheim. I guess these are the only two. Must be thinking of something later on. Um, what am I doing? I thought there were some pots over here or something. We went over there, so let's go explore the city. We'll start from the very back corner. This is the red door where we came in. Hey, the cow's not frozen anymore. So we got some perma snow. We already checked the castle. 
can't really go around the castle. I think we already got this. We can go into the buildings now. Called Sunsea and Scandalous Swimsuits. Alright. Sounds like Rab's kind of book. Anything behind here? Garter. I think they would stock something a little warmer in this climate. Oh, I did not see this book over here. Oh, so the book was ruined from being frozen. Maybe this chest was frozen as well. Royal Ruby. I'll take that. The bunny girl. Crystal Linda, she often drinks down in the mead hall. She's so very beautiful. The witch? No. I fell in love with her at first sight. The other day I finally plucked up the courage to ask for a hand in marriage. I gave her a posy of flowers and told her that I loved her more than words could say, that I would do anything for her. And can you believe it, Traveler? She said yes. She said that she would marry me, so long as I proved that I mean what I say. So if there is a flower that only blooms by the inlet shaped like the full moon in the south of the Starfell. And to win her hand, I must pluck one and bring it back to her. That place is infested with fierce and ferocious monsters. There's no way that I would be able to find it and return alive. I do not know what to do. Wait, Traveler, you are a strong and stalwart warrior, yes? Will you brave the Starfield and find it for me? Man. You really... This woman asks you for one simple thing for her hand in marriage, and you won't even do it yourself. She crystal Linda. I swear that's the name of the witch. So she must be messing with him. Hey, stalker. Um, where were we? In. Hello there, young man. Aren't you lovely? What do you say to a puff puff? Meet you by the harbor bell tomorrow at lunchtime. What time is it now? So, need to go there tomorrow. Inside the church. Looks like we have shops around here. Seat of Deafness. 
behind the counter of the item shop. Or the armor shop, rather. Check upstairs first. We've got some money. If we see anything decent, we may splurge, but... Not entirely sure. Ooh, there's a chest on that side, that's for sure. So I'll have to go through that door. White shield, fur hood, silver tiara, magical hat. I think we're literally about to pick up something for magic hats. A hairy vest. Why would I want that? A strong Sam. That is interesting. Again, if that actually changed her outfit, it would be awesome. Silk Bustier does give her charm. Investment. I may buy Veronica the Silk Booster. I think I will. Jade, rather. What did I say, Veronica? Before I check out the weapon shop, let's see what's behind the chest. 3,000 gold. <laughs> Zombies Bane. It's a one-handed razor wing. There's a two-handed greatsword, I guess. Ice Cold Dirk, Winter's Wing. Shiver stick, a dragon tail whip, so nothing useful at all. Thanks. Here is the item shop. Vikings who live in the far west reaches of Sniffleheim are rough and rowdy fellows, but they're good people at heart. They honor the, fa the royal family, the rare and exotic treasures from all over Erdria. The kingdom offers them a certain level of financial assistance in return. I serve as the Minister for Viking Affairs, ensuring that relations between our two societies run smoothly. Last has not been so of late. Days have passed since the Vikings were due to deliver their latest shipment of tributes. They have not shown their faces. Usually such, stickl such sticklers for punctuality. Do hope nothing untoward has happened to them. Ah, uh, but I cannot go to check on them myself. What if they were to arrive when I was away? You look as if you were a loose end, my friend. Would you help me find out what has become of our missing Viking friends and their tributes? Sure. So we will go check with the Vikings. I guess I thought that quest was actually out the hideout, but... Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter... So let's see... We... Just about done exploring the city. We are... So let's... Stay at the inn until noon tomorrow. Where's the end? <laughs> All right, noon o'clock it is. Should be right over here. Yay, you came. Ready for your puff puff? Okay, keep very still. I'm about to start. Puff puff. Puff. Puff puff puff. And finally, puff 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 puff. 
Ah, 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 choo! Sasha tries to hold back his sneeze, but fails. I feel like that in real life. Studying makeup artistry, you see, I'm not very good, so I tend to make the powder all over the place. I had a hard time trying to get with any of the girls to help me out as models. I can't understand why. I'm going to become the best makeup artist there is, you know? And then I'm going to do stage makeup all uh, over at the Circus in Galopolis. Good for you. So before we head to the Viking hideout, I'm going to head over to the Snarfelt, and we're going to go the direction that we have not gone yet. So we have not gone to the south of this area. We've been to ultimately where it goes, but not thoroughly explored. Um, equip. Witcher's wing and sword and Mr. Bear. Did we go up this one? I believe we did. And if we did, we can get it again. Not no more. Um, I may actually... A little chilly for horses, but... We do have a new enemy type over here. We have not fought one of these. The Bongo Fandango. Another one bites the 700 experience. See the sorcery. Silk Blossom, Lumergrass, Silk Blossom. So this takes us to the southern part of the Snarefelt. And if I am correct, that crescent-shaped moon in er, pieces the part right down there. We have yet to go. So we will need ourselves a mount, more than likely. Ah! Eric. Let's take him out of the line. Let's save that. Um, let's go wrap. Actually, I lied. Let's go, Veronica. Can't do without me, eh?
And don't come back. Okay. Off the horse. Into the creepy face monster. Blunt. Don't you have anything to learn up here? Magic, magical might. Where am I? Ah, I want to go up here. Slime sickles. Bondo and Eric gain a level. Any of them anywhere close to anything Eric might be. Deafness, deafness. We'll go deafness. Platinum ore, blue eye, platinum ore. Nice little find. There's some trolls up here. And a shiny. A snare rose. I believe that's the one that the gentleman in Sniffleheim was looking for. Now we have been to that campsite. We can always zoom back here. What I will do, I'm actually going to zoom to the Viking hideout. Let's see what's going on over there for that quest. Yeah, you already said something. See if this dude tells us where to go. You're a long way from home, world Waka. I'm the chief of the Vikings, and this is my hideout. What do you think you're doing here? Well, if you ain't here to cause trouble, you can stick around so long as I've got the wind in my sails. World might be going. Does he not tell me anything about the. First. What do you want? So that buddy minister sent you to chase up the missing tribute, did he? Made a wasted journey. The truth is, my little brother was the one who went to collect it, but he's gone missing. Been all the longboats out looking for him. That's why we weren't able to send word to your friend. However, we had no luck finding him so far. Every boat that has sailed to the northern seas to try to find him has been driven back by savage sea monsters. You have a sailing ship of your own, yes? You should bump into my brother on your travels. Tell him we were looking for him. He sailed to an island north of Yggdrasil. All right. I. I knew where he was, but I don't remember if you can go find him without the game telling you where he is. Because I don't know how you would know otherwise. <laughs> so 
So north of Yggdrasil, there is one island we have yet to go to, and that is one of the very north. I was saving it for this particular reason, because I knew that I would be going there eventually. He's not wrong, the monsters up here do seem to be a lot stronger than anywhere else in the, the seas. Now this will literally just take you back to Snuffleheim. So, don't bother using that right now. Auto shambles. Dang, Barnica is so strong. Victory! So we're looking on the other side of this little cape or whatever. So this island back here. I'm ready for anything. For making port in each of the many islands scattered throughout the world, so I was correct. There was no red uh, key door here. We're gonna helio chopper these guys. There's too many of them. That was fun. Three hundred ninety-six. Not worth it. You, on the other hand, okay. kind of looks like a smaller version of the uh, whatever Slayer the Saiyan. There we go. Blossom. Hey, there's a dude fishing. Say all, world walker. I'm a Viking and I hail from snowy Sniffleheim. Come here to find a present for Her Majesty the Queen. What? Brother sent you to tell me to come home right away. Ha ha, you such worry guts. Yes, my ship may have sunk, but apart from that, I'm perfectly fine. Indeed, I'm better than fine. The seas around this island are absolutely teeming with Queen Frizabelle's favorite food, scruffy urchins. They may look a li little tatty, but they taste incredible. I've just found the biggest, juiciest specimen I've ever seen. It will make a perfect present for Her Majesty. I just have to sail back to Sifelheim and... Ah, now I see the problem. Would you take this back to Sniffleheim for me? I will stay here and fish for more scruffy urchins to grace the dining table of the queen. May the wind be at your back, friend. Alright, you can just stay here, bro. Um, how do I, how do I just do this? That's easy. Silver ore, silver ore, and a blue eye. So that appears to be the entirety 
this island. So we'll zoom back. Sniffleheim City. Two quests, one to the left, one to the right. Scruffy Urchin. Pirate's hat. I believe that goes to Eric. Equip. Yeah, that's items. Equip my bag. Cannot equip. Salvando so can use it. Eric can use it. What does it actually do? Agility and defense. So. I think Eric had literally just given Mercury's bandana to. But I want to see this in. It actually is better in every way. So who can wear Mercury's bandana? Can you? Silver Chara gives charm. Who doesn't need charm? I guess he really doesn't. Where's Mercury's bandana? It's the worst in every way. Maximum HP. Charm, but it gives him agility increase. Yeah, we'll leave leave everything as is for now. Actually, if I do that, I can take him out of this ridiculous costume. There we go. I'm tired of the. I mean, not that it's ridiculous. I, the armor is really cool, but the clanging every time he walks, it's really old. And we haven't gotten to see his old school outfit very much. Got it for Crystal Linda. That's magic. Magic shields, suits of magic armor, and magic vestments. Well, let's check that out right now. Triple whammy. Alright. So we have a magic shield. We're not using shields. Magic armor. You know what? I think we also have some armor that can take the place. Do we have... Oh, you can't buy spellbound, spellbound bow. So we save up for those. So this is 10%, 10%, 10%. 10%, 10%, and 10%. So. Now, we're going to zoom back to the Snarfelt campsite. And we are going to continue on to the next location. Arborean Highlands. I believe... And I say this as if I don't already know this. The twins, when we first met them, said they were from a place called Arborea. And there... 
is a literal dragon in ice right here. Let's hope he stays that way. No, thank you, sir. There at least be something shiny. Oh well. There is a troll, a few trolls. And now for drastic weather change. went from the snowiest place in the world to just this nice, lush, beautiful greenery. I don't think we went any further south. Just, oh well. That's a cyclone okay, looking here we go. Whirly girly. I believe she spins her body like a cyclone. So we have Arborea and the first forest up ahead. Head through the snowfields. There's the first forest and the Arborean Highlands. So the first forest is where we are going. Let's fight this again. Cyclops. It's cutting. He had an experience, that's okay. Yeah, we'll find some of these. Runny exoskeletons. Uh, the chapter? Reb, skill point. He's got ten. Do you want to see what his last question mark is? So I need thirteen. Get another jumper. metal that I think is 45 so we need to head back as soon as we get to another checkpoint I'd say oops what is we 
didn't need to do that. Oh, her paralyzing staff's pretty cool. Sixty-four crit. And Serena gained a level. New spell, multi heal. So Serena can heal all as well. Very nice. I would say for this part of the game, we're probably just a smidge over leveled. Usually get into this part in the low 30s and we're kind of mid 30s. Not ridiculously over leveled, but we will need it for late game. Late game, the difficulty curve spikes out of nowhere for a few bosses. thought a place like this would be hidden away at the top of that mountain trail. It's breathtaking. Oh, stop it, you. You're making me blush. Although, I suppose the old hometown is pretty amazing. Wait, you mean this is... It is indeed. Welcome to Arborea, home of the Keepers. The ones who watch over the world from beneath Yggdrasil's branches. And of Veronica and I. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was a little bit, well, dull. But it's good to be back. The altar in the vision we saw appeared to be in the highest part of the first forest, which lies just beyond the village. But we should stop off in Arborea before we head up there. Everyone will be ever so pleased when they find out the Luminary has come to visit. I would be ever so pleased to accompany you, Serena. Oh, there is a mighty large statue of, I believe, is the goddess. Great and glorious Yggdrasil, whose holy heart is the source of all life, and to whom all life returns, we thank you for this gift. The withered leaves fall from your branches, and fresh buds spring forth in their place. One life ends, and another begins. O oh, mighty Mother Yggdrasil, we pray that you will bless this new bud, this child of Arborea. May he grow into a leaf worthy of your benevolent boughs. Ah. Well, well. Our beloved twins return. And how long have you two been loitering there, pray? Good day, Holy Father. It's ever so nice to see you again. And everybody else, of course. Everyone seems well. Uh -huh. As do you, my dear. But, Veronica, were you not... Taller when last we met? Well, uh, it's a long story. Anyway, that's not important right now. What is important is that we did what you told us to. We found the luminary. The luminary. Oh. Can it really be? Ah, oh, what a blessed day this is! Not only do we welcome a new life into the village, but the luminary also. I am Benedictus, High Priest 
of Arboria. And I have waited my whole life for this moment. Holy Father, on our travels we learned of a grave threat to this world. A being of pure evil who plots to throw all Erdria into turmoil. I see. So this Mordigan has corrupted the minds of Heliodor's best and boldest, and is using his evil influence to turn the world against our friend here. Yes, but we think we may know how to defeat him. We have to go to the World Tree. A great power awaits us there. There's an altar somewhere in the first forest. We think we can use the orbs to get up to Yggdrasil. Ah, it is just as I dreamed it all those months ago. I saw you, my dears. You were climbing toward the Tree of Life, the luminary beside you. It was this vision that caused me to send you on your quest to seek him out. A vision surely granted unto me by mighty Yggdrasil herself. All is now clear. You were climbing toward the great altar of the first forest. And indeed, this is where you must go. The path to the forest lies beyond the cathedral, as of course you know. I will await you there. When you have all six sacred orbs in your possession, come to me, and I will show you the way. Already got them, bro. Let's see, we could explore this city. Let me go ahead and talk to this guy before we explore. Splendid, you have all six orbs in your possession. Well, honored luminary, shall we proceed? They tell a tale as old as Arborea itself. The tale of the Luminary, a child chosen by mighty Yggdrasil, one sent to save us from disaster. Our friend here is not the first to be known by that name. No, the first was born long, long ago in the Age of Heroes. At that time, the world of Erdria was beset by a being of purest darkness. A being who sought to steal the very source of life itself, the heart of Yggdrasil. And so, the World Tree marked out one among her children for greatness. Erdwin, the luminary of legend, he went forth to do battle with the Dark One. But he did not go alone. A band of heroes accompanied him. Among them, a mighty sage named Serenica. Veronica, Serena, your friend here is the Luminary Reborn. And together, you are the reincarnation of his companion. As for Mordigan, I suspect that it is his darkness that your friend, the latest in the line of luminaries, was born to banish. You must defeat him. The fate of our world depends upon it. Good luck. Mm -hmm. 
No pressure. All right, so now we have access to the first forest, access to a couple of quests in town. I believe I'm going to actually call it here. So next episode, we will look around the city, explore, and probably head into the first forest itself. Oh, because we talked to him about the statue. So, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Again, my name is Sausage. I uh, hope you are enjoying the Let's Play, and stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks everyone.